Hey there, y'all. So I'm just getting ready to go to bed, but obviously, chummies. Uh, but before I take off my makeup, because I would not want to expose you to that horror story. It's not so bad, but you know, we are divas. Um, so I was in a doctor's office couple weeks ago because I wanted to do a try a new Fraxel. There's some new Fraxel thing out that I wanted to try. Just a little like light Fraxel just to freshen up, right? So it's a new doctor. I had never been to this guy before. I went in. I mean, it was such a hard sell. It was ridiculous. So for a half an hour while I'm sitting on the table getting ready to have my face shot up with lasers, the guy comes in and first off, you know what he does? He insults the Botox that I've had. Hello, Sherry Smith knows how to shoot her some Botox into my face. He was like, oh, your Botox is terrible. It's like, look at this. I've got complete movement in my face. Really? That Botox is total movement. He's like, oh no, she did a terrible job. So first of all, he's like criticizing the Botox. He's like, Oh, and you have all this horrible pigmentation, and we should take care of that. And then we can, you need to use this cream that I've invented, and you can do, do this thing, and then you could do like a series of six things. And it was a freaking hard sell. It was the weirdest thing. I've never been in a doctor's office where they put the hard sell on you, and they they nag you a little bit. You know how they, you know that whole thing where they, yeah, the nag to make you feel bad, and then they're like, oh, but we can make you beautiful. It was unbelievable. So then I'm like, all right, well, I've had Fraxel before, and it's a little stingy, a little stingy. So do we, like, do some numbing cream? They're like, oh, no, you don't need numbing cream. It's fine. You don't need numbing cream. Oh, my gosh. It was like you unleashed, like, a bunch of fire ants with grenades on my face, like, individually, like, I was, I was like this. In the chair, I was. It was so painful. Whew. When I got done with it, they come back and they're like, "And would you like to buy some of this cream? And we have some more of this cream for you to buy. And would you like to make an appointment?" They and after all of this is done, they had the gall to call me like a week later and go, "The doctor would like to see you um, for a follow up." I'm like, "What the frick? Seriously? He didn't do anything. All he did was like nag my face." and my amazing Botox lady, and hurt the shit out of my face. It, the thing is, the Fraxel was fine. It was very light. It didn't do that much. It was fine. I mean, look. I don't know. It's, it was fine. It was like a little fresher upper. But, oh my God, it hurt like frick. So, just be very careful. If you go into a doctor's office where they, first of all, try to sell you products, and they criticize work you've had done before, and then they try to upsell the service, run, 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 run. That's why I do these things is to save y'all the hassle of doing those things. All right, um, real quick little update on, somebody was asking my, um, what's in my purse these days, what, I, what do I carry around um, for my absolute go-tos? I'm gonna tell you, it's the same old stuff as it always is, Max Studio Fix, this baby has gotten me through more bad situations. Look how woe down she is. She is so woe down. Look at that. Ooh, it's magic. Look at that. Eight hours of sleep instantly, right? Um, same old, my mascara. Everybody asks, what's your mascara? Oh, look at this, y'all. I'm not wearing fake eyelashes tonight. Okay, look. I've been using that, that rapid lash stuff and taking my biotin pill. My lashes are like, they're like, they're like actual lashes. It's kind of cool. But I still use my Balloomy, my Bar Balloomy, L'Oreal. Um, here's a good one. And it's the, the Patty Dubrock. And I found, it was so great. I found a, this at, um, I found a bunch of these. And I, I got a bunch of them for my, my sweet little um, stepdaughter. She's getting a bunch of these for her birthday. Look at this. Most incredible neutral, like you can do it without even looking. So great. Patty Dubrow, it's just a neutral, she does this whole neutral palette. It's just a great, just look for that. It's just lovely. 
And, you know, I adore Milani Cosmetics. Milani is great. Um, they do really great stuff. This is, the, this is the baked bronzer. I've been using this a lot for the spring. It's called Milani Baked Bronzer. Can I just tell you, if anybody from Milani is listening, this thing is so freaking hard to open. You, you fight, fight with it, and then you finally get it open. So it's just lovely. And there's like a little there and a little there. And if you have like some smudgy lines, you take a, like a nice flat brush. This is a Jamie Kern IT Cosmetics, that one. It's like really flat. Just kind of mush it in, mush it, mush it, kind of mush it. There, see, pretty. Anyway, Milani, this baked bronzer is amazing. The thing is, if you don't get it open right, it is so hard to open. Look, it has a little button you're supposed to push, but it doesn't. For fricks, really, really. Get an upper body workout to do. All right, those are the items I'm loving. These. Oh, one other thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know I'm usually all about the drugstore cosmetics. This one, gals and boys, I love it. Stila, it's the automatic pencil because you don't have to have a sharpener for it. Mm, she's good, girl. She is good. She's just an automatic pencil. And I do like inner water lines. And then just do a little smudge, and then like, and sometimes now that my lashes are actually coming back, I'll just blitz, just do like mush, like and you dot, you go dot 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 dot, and then smudge it, and it's like a lovely little smudge. But it's the Stila. I got this one at Sephora. Again, watch for the hard sell. It's a little more expensive than some of them, but you can travel with it. You don't have to bring a sharpener. La di da. We love that. All right, there it is. I'm telling you, watch for the hard sell. Anytime somebody wants to sell you something extra in addition to what you've already bought or agreed to, step away. Step away from the cosmetics counter, the perfume counter, the doctor's needle. Watch it, gals and boys, because I really have issues with this. And I want, to, I want you guys to be very, very aware that that is not a normal thing. The upsell, be suspicious. Ask questions. Get your friend's opinions. I'm not going to say the name of the doctor, so don't even ask me. I'm just not going to go there. Because I only talk about people I really, really like and respect. Just know that it is everywhere. Be careful. There are also amazing doctors, amazing estheticians. And the ones that you know and you love, you're going to be friends with forever, and they'll take beautiful care of your face, very careful care of your face, are the ones who are not going to try to upsell you once you get in the chair. Okay? So let's just respect ourselves. I respect each other. Just seriously, the upsell. <clears throat> Icky. All right, I gotta go take off my makeup and go to bed. Oh, I need to do a story on how to take off my makeup. I'll do that next time. I think you have to see me without makeup. <gasps> Poor you. Oh, hard. All right, they'll stay as glamorous as you can stay to be. I'm Maddie Roberts.